In the wake of tragedy comes hope. The Harrison Fire Department has a new tool to find missing children or adults. It's called transponder receiver equipment, and it has the potential to reduce search times and dramatically improve outcomes. But sadly, the idea was born out of heartbreak. Nine News reporter Jay Warren has more. It was June of last year when hundreds of searchers descended on Aurora to find seven-year-old John Burton, an autistic boy who had wandered off. Searchers would ultimately find him drowned in Hogan Creek. Marcy Mullins was one of those searchers. The emotions that I felt out there looking for him and us not being successful in our search, um, it just really spurred me to action. So she contacted her fire department in Harrison to see what resources they had. I didn't want to be out there looking for my son. I didn't want to be out there looking for somebody I knew. Because you have a son with autism. I have a son with autism. So Chief William Hersong got a grant for Project Lifesaver. The program is designed to help or assist with anybody that has a tendency to wander. So um, very simplistic. It's, it, each, each person will be outfitted with a transmitter. Today, Hersong gave us a demonstration. We placed the transmitter on rookie firefighter Mike Montague and told him to wander off. We uh, type in the little frequency number that is associated with that band, and it'll give us a, a ping noise. And to test the device, I asked electronic search specialist Amanda Reardon to walk the other way. It's getting a little bit louder. And as she walked around downtown Harrison, the signal got even stronger. It's really strong. And as you can see ahead of us, there's our transmitter. And for Reardon, it is an important sense of duty that she could be the one to find someone who's missing. Anybody that's in need, that's why I got into this business. And it's just exciting to be a part of something, something new, something that could help a lot of people. And if you think a bracelet like that could help someone in your family, the cost for one is $300 plus $10 a month for a new battery. The chief says financial assistance is out there and it will be a big day tomorrow. Marcy Mullen's son will be given his bracelet. He'll be the first to get one in Harrison. Very interesting times. Not inexpensive, but it could be very well worth it. Oh, worth every penny if someone goes missing. Absolutely.